we stand ready to support the country come up with measures that can restore lasting peace and stability and address the long-standing issues like unemployment, the unending search for justice and equality, fighting corruption, negative ethnicity in our national life, instilling a tradition of meritocracy in appointment to public office and ending the unfair and punitive economic and taxation policies. This conversation, in our view, must come ahead of other conversations on the structure of our national governance going forward. As a party, ODM has never shied away from stepping up and having difficult conversations whenever the destiny of our nation is at stake. Indeed, it is said that it is in times of crisis that leadership emerges. The emerging issues and the urgent need to address them is not about re rescuing the Kenya Kwanzaa regime or indeed William Ruto. The nation is bigger than and distinct from any one of us. We see this as a chance to rescue our nation and pull it back from the precipice. We therefore welcome these developments in the hope that they will, make, they will mark the beginning of honest and earnest efforts to address the myriad issues expressed by disappointed and angry youths and a huge segment of the Kenyan population. As a party, we shall not fear to engage with the country, and when we do, we shall not do that in fear. We believe in fighting injustice and dictatorship in all their manifestations because we believe, <clears throat> we believe every single member of the country has a right to hold opinions, to express those opinions, and to be heard. This entire crisis was precipitated by a failure to listen to each other. It cannot be resolved by that same attitude. There is no table that ODM will not go to if the destiny of our nation is the main agenda. ODM will also not object to the presence of any other person or group of people on that table, no matter how outrageously different their view of the world is from ours. In order, to, in order for all of us to have this national conversation, we call on the government to take certain immediate steps to create the necessary environment for those talks and apprehend all police officers implicated in the murders of the over 200 innocent Kenyans in peaceful protests since last year. We also call for a national amnesty for all persons arrested or charged in connection with protests and compensation for all the victims of police brutality. Time is of the essence, fellow countrymen. I thank you, and that is the end of the statement.